Hi, I'm Matt Arndt. And I'm Bart Taylor. Welcome back to our first time camping series. Nothing turns a trip from stress-free to stressful like not knowing what to do when you first get to your campsite. Today we will demonstrate parking, leveling, and stabilizing your RV to get your trip started right. Campsites will vary from grass or gravel to concrete or asphalt. If you have the option, choose a site that is fairly level and free of obstacles. Survey the campsite for sewer, water, and electrical hookups, fire pits, and trees. This will help you decide where you want the RV to end up. If you have slide outs and awnings, make sure you'll have enough room to extend them out completely. Many campsites offer pull-through sites that require no backing up. When you do not have this option, set yourself up to back into the site from the left. This allows you to see the entire driver's side while backing into your campsite. Backing in from the right can be done, however it is much harder to see. Use a spotter whenever possible. If you are by yourself, stop and ask a neighboring camper for help. You may just make a new friend in the process. Before removing the camper from your tow vehicle, your camper needs to be leveled to assure proper operation of features like refrigerators and slide outs. First, take a level and check if the RV is level from side to side. If the RV is not level, use suitable lengths of wood blocks under the tires of the side you need to raise. Depending on your site, you can back up or pull forward to place the wood blocks on the ground in front or behind the wheels, and then tow the RV onto the blocks. Then recheck the level of the RV. Add more blocks if necessary to reach the proper level. Now, chalk the wheels so the RV won't move. Now that the RV is level side to side, lower the tongue jack on travel trailers or landing legs on fifth wheels and disconnect the tow vehicle. Depending on the campsite condition, you may need to use blocking under the tongue jack or landing legs. Raise or lower the tongue jack to achieve level front to rear. If your RV has an auto leveling system, be sure to follow the steps to auto level. Once you have leveled the unit front to rear, it's time to stabilize it. The stabilizer jacks included will vary in type and size depending on the RV, but all perform the same function, to stabilize the front and rear of the RV while parked for camping. Do not attempt to lift the RV with the stabilizer jacks down. These are not designed to bear weight, only to help stabilize the RV for movement while you are moving around inside. We also recommend putting blocks under the stabilizers as well. You're now one step closer to relaxing around the campfire. Join us in our next video where we discuss shore power and how to hook up your shore cord.